All right, welcome back. So right now we are looking at strings. So let me open uh, the HTML.php and save as strings. Let me save as strings.php. I already have the file, so I will replace it. So strings. So what exactly is a string? A string is just a, a bunch of text. So I can have a variable like this and say, uh, this is a string like that. So that is a valid string. If I say echo ver, it's going to display exactly that. So let me try that and run it in Firefox. Make sure Apache is running, don't forget that. And let's replace the part that's htdocs to localhost, like that, okay. So you get this is a string as expected. Now you could join two strings in this way. You could say echo ver, uh, this ver, and you add a dot, that's how we concatenate ver this is a string you can type something like that i wrote something like that will work uh, please notice that i've put a space here because if i don't put a space it's going to connect exactly where this ends and connect to that which won't look uh, very nice so let me do that and you see this is a string that i wrote so that's how you join two strings i can even join a third string here if i want if i had another variable like for two let me create a ver2 right here and say ver2 on my way, something like that. Let me leave a space so it looks awesome. And refresh, and you see it as one sentence. This is a string that I wrote on my way. This is how you concatenate uh, these strings. You could also create another string like you say, uh, let, me, let me create one more and say ver4 is equal to read, something like that. Then I could say um, ver, sorry, like ver for dot equals. So what this actually does is it says whatever is um, contained in ver for, add to it this. Okay, don't erase because if th this dot doesn't exist there, ver for even if I had uh, set it to this text, at this point it's going to refer to this and discard this value. So let me just uh, prove that and say ver for. Let's echo it out and let's see what we get. We get this is a string that I wrote on my way because that's what we've assigned it to and not this read. This has been replaced. But if I add a dot at the beginning, I'm telling it concatenate. Don't erase what's there, just add to it. So let me refresh that and you see it. You see read, this is so and so. So that's how you do it with strings. Now, when echoing strings, you could insert variables in there if you want to. So let's uh, see an example of that. Let me try to um, uh, echo ver2. Let me say echo ver2 like that. And then I'll say, instead of doing this, my way to, let me write to school like this. This is a uh, straightforward, we've done this before. So you get that. But in this case, you could do it this way by just cutting this. Let me paste it inside the inverted commas like that and remove the concatenation. And this will work exactly the same. You see, exactly the same result. It, uh, PHP recognizes that this is a variable and does it. But be aware that if you use single quotes like this, this will definitely not work. So yeah, I refresh like that. And you see, it brings me the literal value of uh, the variable instead of the variable, the value of the variable itself. And by the way, don't forget any semicolons because then PHP will get confused. If there's another line, for example, let me remove the semicolon here. If there's another line, it's going to say, oh, syntax error, so and so and so. Uh, but it shows you the line number actually where the problem is, line 19, which is here. Now, it's here because it doesn't expect this, it expects the semicolon instead, so that's what happens. So as I was saying, if you use a single quote, this doesn't work. So you have to use double quotes like that for PHP. As soon as PHP sees these double quotes, it says, okay, if there are any variables in here, I have to evaluate them. Now the problem comes in in case you don't want to leave a space between this variable and the next word. Now we have a problem because this PHP will look for this variable and not find it. It will think this is one word and not know that uh, your variable ends here. So let's see what happens when I do that. You get an identified variable, ver2, 2, on line 19, okay? So let's check that out, on line 19, we have this problem. So to solve this, you add curly brackets like that, okay? So now PHP would know, okay, this is a variable, you see the color has changed too, and this is some text. So let me refresh that, and you see it, 
right there working just fine. And please note that this doesn't work either with single quotes like that. So let me refresh that and you get the literal value instead. And my battery has just gone low. So I think this is all about strings and I'll see you in the next video.